Okay, this is my audience. Thank you. Can you record this for me? Okay, my name is Kiana Leonard, and I want to talk to y'all today. I got a question. Does anyone know what's the main disease that affects African Americans? Yes. What? High blood pressure. How you know that? Because the leading cause of death in African American. Okay, I'll give you that. You know what it's called. Do you know what it's actually called? Or what people call it? What? A solid killer. Hypertension. Ooh. Yeah, hypertension is the is the name. main is the correct term medical term. Mm -hmm. Solid kill is just what people oh, call it. Do you know what high blood pressure? But well, do you have high blood pressure? Any of y'all got it? Yes. Yeah. Okay, how long you had high blood pressure? Uh about four years. Okay. How did you find out you had high blood pressure? Um, I just went to the doctor and they did with blood pressure and it was kind of up. And then when I had, they put me on a log sheet to record it. And when I went back, it was still up. So they had to put me on medication. Okay. Oh, well, tell me this. Because this was like a solid killer, you know, like solid killers, it, it can creep up and you don't know. What made you say, okay, let me get to the doctor for high blood pressure? I just had a bad headache. I just had headaches, constant headaches, um, nausea, fatigue, um... That was about it. Mm, okay. Okay. Well, did you know that high blood pressure is like one of the main, for what it is the main, well, one of the main diseases that affects African American, the African American community. Do anybody know what it is? Yes, it's when your, um, when your blood is not pumping it like it's supposed to. Okay. It's, it's trying to pump, it's pumping harder, so it's definitely making your... Heart and beat hard, have to work a little faster. A little okay. Harder. Okay, I'll give you that. It, you, you're correct. It's mainly when your blood is against the outer wall, which causes it to be a little higher. So it's like your blood is trying to get through a little narrow artery. So, okay, prime example, remember when we was at the doctor with mama, and he was like, her blood was trying to pump through this little narrow artery. Mm -hmm. That's high blood pressure. Your blood trying to narrow artery. Causing it to try to pump stronger in large hearts, which you know we've been regular right heartbeat. Yeah. Like a um, heartbeat. Okay. Shortness of breath. Okay, yeah. All of that does take that goes into consideration, and you know, with us all being black or African Americans, you know, it affects forty one percent of black people compared to twenty seven percent of white people. Did you know that? No. Okay. So when it comes down to high blood pressure, do y'all know it can lead to strokes, heart attacks, obesity? Well, hold on, it don't lead to obesity. Yeah, obesity helps. Obesity helps. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Go sit. Go sit right now. Come on. She doing free taste. Come on. But yeah, it um. Obesity just yeah, have a big effect on it. It yeah, plays a major role in you you know, coming. You overweight, yo, you put more stress on your body to do this to you just put more stress on your body overall. Now this, like okay, because you own because you do like you have high blood pressure, would you say it's under control? What what would you say with your high blood pressure? Yeah, I say it's under control. But I also still have to watch it because you know how blood pressure can be um it's like hereditary, it can yeah. it can fall goes in the family. So you're if you right. got a family history of high blood pressure, it you nine times out of ten you can wind up with you have to be careful when you Right. Like I mama got high, I mama I mother has high blood pressure. Luckily I got skilled, you know, luckily. But she does have it, you know, you just have to pay a little bit closer attention, take your medication, exercise. Tell me this, because you do have high blood pressure and you say you got it maintained, what do you do that's different besides taking your medication? Um, I exercise a little bit, eat right. Um, I, I watch my calorie intakes. Um, <laughs> oh my, go to my doctor's appointment and I just keep, I just, I just, and not check it regularly. All that, that's real good as well, but you know, you have to have less sodium. Because I don't know what high blood pressure. You got diabetes. 
Which you know you you know something about diabetes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.